Alright. Alright, cassette. Uh. Hmm? Can I? Yeah. I... I don't think I need my controller. Alright, what is this? After a year on the road, I thought I'd get tired of traveling. The endless clatter of railways, highways, and everything in between. Oh. But as my train pulled into the station at Bellariva, I felt every bit as excited as the first day of my journey. Okay, uh... I'm also just realizing that windowed mode is complete garbage of this game. Like, that is... Because there wasn't even an option to change the resolution, I don't think. Great start. Great start, I already hate it. Hold done. Let me... Okay, the... wait, what? Wait, it's still... Wait. It's still on 4x3. Was the window just so small that it, like, wasn't... After a year on the road, I thought I'd get tired of traveling. The endless clatter of railways, highways, and everything in between. But as my train pulled into the station at Bellariva, I felt every bit as excited as the first day of my journey. A whole year. It felt like a lifetime. So it's just... The places I'd seen, the people I'd met, of course. The forgotten treasures I'd given a new lease of life along the way. So it's just cut off for no reason, basically. I'm a restorer by trade. Bringing our most beloved possessions back to life is what I love to do. I'd been traveling for months, working my way from one town to the next, fixing everything from family heirlooms to VCRs. Bella Riva was my chance to take a break. Unfortunately, that would have to wait until after I'd unpacked. Uh... Click the suitcase to pick it up, okay. Ah. The tools of my trade. No hope of restoring things without these. Looking forward to taking more close-ups of my fingers with this. Who doesn't love a scrunchie? Practical and stylish. Why is the text cut off? I feel like that's not supposed to be like how it looks. My passport. Not many blank pages left now. I saw a guitarist wearing these at a show once. Rock and roll repair woman at your service. I picked up these sunglasses on my last stop. Hopefully I'm cool enough to pull them off. Can you fucking... Come on. What the fuck? Put them... I can't... It's not... I, I can't put them anywhere. Finally, I'd made it to Bella Riva. I'd come for the food festival, taking place in a few days' time. 
After living off TV dinners and instant ramen for the last few months, I was craving a decent meal. Of course, I'd need to earn enough money to pay for it, so I figured I'd head out the next day and find some work. My parents never wanted me to go. They wanted me to stay in their shop and have a simple, stationary life. I knew there was a world out there, beyond the four walls of our antique store, that I had to be a part of. I daydreamed constantly about the weird and wonderful places each of our antiques came from. I loved figuring out their stories, revealing the memories hidden beneath the screws and wires. My story in Bellariva began with a little girl and a voice she was longing to hear. Oh. All right. It was my first morning in Bellariva and I couldn't wait to leave my hotel and explore. It was a quiet town. Its streets and alleyways basking peacefully in the hot morning sun. Come on. In the main square, meanwhile, preparations were underway for the festival in a few days' time. As I handed out my flyers, I wondered what the people of Bella Riva would need me to fix. So far, everything here seemed perfect. I was starting to worry I'd made a mistake when I felt someone tapping me on the back. Hi, I'm Izzy. Do you know how to fix things? It was a little girl, maybe seven years old, who must have gotten hold of one of my flyers. She rummaged around in her backpack until she hauled out a battered red cassette deck. My tape is broken and I can't make it work anymore. I tried to fix it myself, but there's this metal thing in the way. Can you try? Uh, I guess not. Okay. Why did you do that? How did you do that? I didn't see. Uh, no way. Uh, that's for the thingy. There we go. I go over. Do this. And take this out. Aha! Those batteries look like they need replacing. Luckily, I have some spares. Where is Wait, I can't. Huh? Oh, there it is. There we go. Uh, can you please put it back? Thank you. Actually, I don't know if I even need to. Is it done? Yeah, I think it, it's done, right? Oh, wait, 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 I see. Need to actually, like, play it. Or not. No? Uh... Ah, right. Not, oh, for fuck's sake. Uh. Will you dream a dream for me? 
me if I sit by your side and hold you so tight know that I when it finished Izzy picked up the tape deck and tucked it carefully into her backpack thanks Maria you're the best person at fixing things ever no problem who was that singing they're very good it's my mom she's not here anymore Izzy trailed off. It was the kind of silence a cassette tape would never be enough to fill. When Izzy's friends called for her, she dug deep into her pockets, looking for something to pay me with. Eventually, she produced a grand total of a stick of gum, three mismatched buttons, and a yo-yo. I usually preferred a check, but Izzy looked so serious, I wrote out a full receipt. She seemed like a happy kid, but beneath it all, part of her life had been shattered. A part I wouldn't be able to fix. Okay. My first repair complete. I spent the rest of the day doing small jobs in and around the square. I was exhausted when I got back to my hotel and found a message asking me to make one more visit. The address led me to a quaint little house, a stone's throw from the beach. Bathed in the evening light, it looked beautiful, in spite of its flaking paintwork and chipped tiles. The front door was opened by a harried-looking man, still dressed from a long day at the office. Are you Maria? My name's Joseph. I'm Isabel's father. I'm so sorry she bothered you this morning. Please, come in. I'd like to settle up properly. On the mantelpiece, I saw the remains of a broken statue. Without thinking, I picked up a fragment. Ah, my father's statue. What's left of it, at least? Yet another way I'd have disappointed him. It survived a hundred years in this family. But five minutes with Isabel and... Do you think you can salvage it? Uh, okay. Will you be able to see the glue afterwards? I don't want people seeing the cracks. Fantastic. Um. Oh, this is so precise. Oh, I hate this. Uh, is it this? No, it's the other arm. No, that's a leg. Um. There we go. Is this glue really strong enough to hold everything together? Uh, I can't hunt. Can I please move? There we go. So, then this, uh, or not. Wait, what, which, which part of it is it? Oh, I think maybe this or I need to turn it. Oh, I forgot to put glue here. That's why. But if uh, I could move this, I 
The controls are kind of wonky. Uh... This? I said... Look. That'd be fun. Sometimes I think my daughter should come with a warning label. Oh, um... There's glue here. So, why can't I... Am I missing a... No, I just... Just have to do that last. I think it's like this that I have to... If... Can you move? Oh, I didn't even see this piece. I didn't even see that was a piece. I thought it was like something else entirely. It looks as perfect as it ever did. My father wanted me to make something of myself. He didn't have time for anything less. As Joseph put the statue back on the shelf, it nudged against the family portrait stood proudly next to it. So he was Bellariva's mayor. And that was Izzy's mom. They must both miss her so much. Sorry. I'm a little tired. I've been working late getting things sorted for the festival. There's only a few days to go. Looks like I'll be working late. Again? When I told my parents I wanted to leave, they always found an excuse to be busy. To avoid talking about it. I guess keeping themselves occupied was their way of pretending it wasn't happening. Joseph's work must have been taking up so much of his time. Maybe that was what he wanted. I just hoped he was finding enough time for Izzy, too. Uh, real quick. Okay. Cool. Uh, is the stream good? I don't fucking know. How many fucking levels are there? 14. That's how many. My second day in Bellariva dawned bright and clear. Another beautiful sunny morning. Walking into town, I passed cafes overflowing with customers cradling their morning coffees. I stopped, breathing in the smell of roasted coffee beans and freshly baked pastries. I was about to go inside when the owner of Carmen's, the cafe next door, stopped me. Uh, hello, Maria? Were you here yesterday handing out flyers? I have a job for you. Her place was petite tucked between its competitors as if hoping they wouldn't notice. Judging by the empty tables inside, though, her potential customers hadn't noticed it either. It's a bit slow today, but we're just getting started. <laughs> I'm sure it'll pick up soon. As Carmen chatted, she walked over to the counter and returned with an old rotary phone. At least I've got plenty of time to practice my recipe for the festival. It's a new special I've been working on. I was hoping to call my sister for some, uh, seasoning tips. 
but it won't connect. Can you see if you can figure out what's wrong? Let's figure out what's wrong. Okay, so... Obviously, we'd normally be much busier than this. You can fix it, can't you? I can't afford to replace it. Click the wire and drag it to the toolbox. Uh, I said, can you? I've, uh, oh. there you go. That is also broken. Should be good, right? No, 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 that's not what I wanted to do. That's not what I wanted to do. Can you please turn it? Thank you. These connections aren't quite right. I should check the wiring. Right, I forgot to change the wire. Never mind, move it. Forgot about the wire. are in the right configuration. Never mind. So is this not right? Ah. I don't know how to rotate your phones. Are... Connections aren't quite right. I should check the wiring. Oh, I see. Uh, 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 okay, okay, I see. These connections aren't quite right. I know, I shut the, the fuck wire. up. How do I move it? Okay. Looks like this new circuit board is all hooked up. When I handed the phone back to Carmen, she seemed almost reluctant to take it from me. So it's all working now, is it? I don't have to leave it to dry or let it cool down? Nope, it's ready to go. It'll be ringing off the hook in no time. 
That's if I can pay my phone bill anyway. <laughs> and the rent and the suppliers. Anyway, take a seat and I'll be right with you. Your coffee's on the house. I sat at one of the empty tables, while at the counter, Carmen had started dialing the phone. Hello! How's my favorite sister doing today? As she talked, Carmen became more and more tense. This didn't seem like a call for some cooking advice. I know I still owe you from last time, but I can't afford to take part in the festival if I don't pay. I could almost feel the eye roll at the other end of the line. You don't need to be here, though. Can't you just put the check in the post? When the call ended, Carmen brought me my coffee, her hands trembling. Sorry about that. My sister's decided to fly in for a visit. Oh, God, I have to get ready. Actually, I might have another job for you. Can you come by tomorrow? Uh. The next day, I'd promised Carmen I'd return to help her get the cafe ready for her sister's arrival. I was about to set out when I received an unexpected call from my hotel's reception desk. Apparently, another guest had asked for me by name. Curious, I took the creaking elevator up to the top floor and made my way to the room number they'd given. I knocked. Are you here about the camera? It's about time. The woman in front of me was immaculate. Not a hair out of place or a crease to be seen. My sister tells me you know how to fix things. I'd usually go to an expert, of course, but in this town... So this was Carmen's sister? The two of them couldn't have been more different. Inside her room, I saw a beautiful reflex camera. Any professional photographer's dream. The viewfinder is completely dark. I can't see anything through it at all. I assume you can figure out what's wrong. <laughs> okay, so I'm guessing I have to move this, remove these. Ah, look, the thing is broken. Oh, I can pop off. Okay. No, um... What can... What else comes off? Hold on. Oh, there's a screw here I didn't see. There we go. I don't suppose you fixed anything this valuable before. If I use the screwdriver, I could adjust the angle of the mirror. Does it need to be like this? No. Is it that? Oh, wait, 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 it's, uh, oh, oh, I see, I see. That's how it's supposed Perfect. to 
Now the viewfinder should be working. I just noticed these were here. There was a battery that I didn't see. And also there was... No, I wanna... Still a few parts missing. Yeah. Let me dismantle it. Oh, for fuck's sake. Alright. Well done. Go. Yeah. I should make sure I screw everything back together. Yeah. That's what I was doing, you moron. Alright. I felt a pang of envy as I handed the camera to Helena. I put my disposable to shame. I picked it up on my first trip to Paris. It's a 1958 limited edition. The first of its kind. It cost me three months salary. But it was worth it. <laughs> I had no idea what three months salary meant to Helena, but I was pretty sure it was more than I could afford. <laughs> it was strange, really, that we were even staying in the same hotel. I'd picked this place because it was cheap and cheerful, but surely she could afford somewhere better? She took some test shots, fiddling with the camera settings until she was absolutely satisfied. This work is immaculate. At least there's one person in this town who knows what they're doing. Sending you to me might be the first thing Carmen's actually gotten right. I wondered why Helena had bothered coming if she thought so little of her sister. I hear nothing from her for weeks, and then when she finally does call me, all she wants is money. If she thinks I'm lending her another penny, she'll have to convince me it's not a total waste of time. That didn't sound good. If Hurricane Helena was about to hit, I hoped Carmen was ready. Okay. Let me just check. 10 hours, 12. The sun huh? was setting over Bella Riva by the time I reached Carmen's cafe. From the outside, it looked as quiet as ever, but inside... I found Carmen cleaning like her life depended on it. Maria! Oh, don't mind all of this. If Helena finds one speck of dust in here, I'll never hear the end of it. Actually, like, the voice acting is really good, I have to admit. Carmen seemed pleased to see me, but I sensed the fidgeting tension beneath each sweep of her mop. Trying to live up to the standards of someone like Helena seemed like an impossible task. I hope you didn't mind fixing the camera for her. She was furious when it broke. I really need this to go well. If she doesn't lend me the money, I don't know how long I can keep this place going. Carmen led me to a back room where she'd laid out the components of what looked like a neon sign. I had this made when I first opened the cafe, but I'm hopeless with electronics. So there was supposed to be a sign outside. 
This might explain the lack of customers. <laughs> I'd like to put it up before Helena gets here. Can you give it a try? All right. So what's this? Uh. All right. I don't know how half of these these things work. Uh I think this goes no, no it doesn't. Okay. Yeah, there, there's nothing there. I don't. I think the whole thing is supposed to light up. <laughs> no shit, Sherlock. All right. No, no. Put it back. I want these. Um. This goes here. This goes here. Okay. So then this. No, you fucking cunt. Oh my god. Okay. Okay. I don't know, it's a bit, uh, flat. Maybe if it flashes, it'll really catch people's eye. Great idea. I think I have a spare part that could do that. You do? Okay, so is this like a repeater or something? Oh, wait, 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 I know. This is where the glue goes, yeah. You're just... <laughs> You're just gonna, like, put it, like, with the glue part, like, on the table, like, have it glued there? Alright. Um... But then... What do I connect it to? Unless it's like this. Yeah, okay. No! Put it. Bitch. Come on. Okay. Hmm. It still needs something else. Maybe we can add one of these. What? Um, literally none of these would work. Um, because this is a cafe, not a bar or an ice cream shop or a pizza shop or a pizzeria. No wonder you don't have any customers. He's just gonna glue it to the table? Alright. No. There we go. Oh, 
Oh wait, I forgot to add the... Uh... I think the whole thing is supposed to light up. No shit, Sherlock. Uh, I think I might prefer this, actually. Where's my mouse? The sign fixed. We headed outside and mounted it carefully over the cafe door. I was probably supposed to be the ice cream, but okay. Oh, that's perfect, Maria. It looks just how I imagined it. When I had this sign made, it all seemed so simple. Oh, I can't believe I might have to give it all up. I hope I've done enough. The smile froze on her face as she spotted something over my shoulder. I turned to see. Of course, my sister owns the only cafe in this entire town that isn't actually open. For better or worse, Helena had arrived. Carmen opened her mouth to explain, but Helena swept indifferently past her. Finally pausing in the doorway, she turned back towards Carmen. The first thing we're doing is getting rid of that hideous sign. And with that, she disappeared inside. I hoped Carmen's chances of saving the cafe hadn't disappeared with her. Uh... 21 minutes, okay. It was the day before the festival, and the whole town was busy getting ready. I had more work than I knew what to do with. When Joseph called with another job, I was craving the cool quiet of his and Izzy's seafront house. I'd barely reached their front door when I heard someone calling me. Psst. Maria, I need your help. Quickly! It's top secret! It was Izzy, peeking out from the side of the house. She beckoned for me to follow her. She led me through to a beautiful, unruly garden, overflowing with flowers of every color. Nestled among them was a playhouse, its doorway almost completely obscured by a towering rose bush. You have to squeeze past it and breathe in real small, like this. Izzy took in a big gulp of air and crawled through the gap and into the playhouse. I hadn't planned on crawling in the dirt today, but the life of a repair woman never did run smooth. On the table inside, there was an electronic toy. Not exactly the usual stock in my parents' antique shop. I uh, had an accident. I didn't do it on purpose or anything, but it uh, won't turn on anymore. Can you fix it for me? Hey, game consoles are the most important thing. So, oh. Oh, you fucked it up real good, didn't you? Um. Oh, you fucked it up real good. You you smashed both the screen and the A button. Like, the screen I'd get. How do you fuck up the A button? What? Uh. I don't know if that was intentional. Like. I could, you could just pop that off. Okay, sure. Uh, this is why kids are stupid. Um, you know, I'm pretty sure. I know I'm not a game console expert, but I'm pretty sure that there's supposed to be screws somewhere here. What is this? Oh, that's the screen. I'm pretty sure. 
Uh, so there isn't a single screw. Oh, okay. I see. Oh, I think they're in the wrong, uh, sp they're in the wrong spaces? No. I might have fucked it up. Uh, hold on, maybe it's... Ah, I see, I see. So one... Oh, no, wait, 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 wait. Oh, shit, what did it look like before? <laughs> Oops. Hold on. <laughs> Let me see what they were like. Okay, so it was... This one was over here. This one was over here. And this one was over here. So now I do the same with these, right? They go in the same spots. we go okay we should these can go back how the fuck do I move do I remove the a button oh a battery uh doesn't seem like there's a replacement battery though so I don't think I need to change that So does this wait? How does the how do I remove the the A button? Can you please? Oh, I see. So I think what I was supposed to do was I was supposed to remove these first before connecting them, right? Yeah. Oops, wrong one. Yep, I see. Okay. Um. Well, now what the fuck did did the uh, did these look like? Um, this connected to three. This is connected to one. This connected to two. Uh, what is connected to two? Same right. Uh, 
this is different. Um, there's no, uh, there's no music. There isn't like a music note one. No, that's correct. Oh, I know why. I remember. Because I'm an idiot, that's why. Alright. Now let's put them back to where they're supposed to be. supposed to remove the A button, wasn't I? Yeah. Uh... What does it? Oh, there it is. Wait, actually, what? Do here? grown-ups play games as well? Forest adventure. Palm play. <laughs> Yokoi. Can you show me how to play? I tried before, but it was so hard. Um. Okay. Izzy retreat into its screen, taking refuge in a three-inch world of her own. <sighs> well, I'd better head inside. Your dad is waiting for me. Please don't tell him about the game. He'll think I broke it on purpose. Why would he think that? Because, uh, well, I kind of dropped it really hard at the wall. <laughs> Izzy looked down, scuffing her shoes on the worn floor of the playhouse. My dad said I have to go to this stupid festival tomorrow and put on a stupid dress, and I don't want to. All he cares about is working. He never wants to see me unless it's for his job. I'm not going. He can't make me. With that, Izzy dove back through the rosebush and disappeared into the wilds of the garden. She was so young. She couldn't be expected to see that her dad was struggling, too. It made me think. Had I really tried hard enough to understand my parents' point of view? I was so focused on the adventures ahead of me. Maybe I didn't care enough about leaving them behind. Yeah, that really makes you think. But also, I don't care enough about my parents' point of view, so fuck them. <laughs> Leaving Izzy hiding in the garden, I walked around to the front of the house and rang the doorbell. It was only then I noticed my favorite overalls covered in grass stains. I scrubbed desperately, but it was too late. Maria, what are you doing? What happened to your clothes? 
I was, uh, repairing a lawn mower. How unusual. Well, do come in. The job I've got for you is a little more delicate. Totally embarrassed, I walked into an orderly room filled with papers and ledgers. So this was his office. You must be so busy getting ready for the festival. Are you looking forward to it? Of course. It's traditional for the mayor to judge food from every cafe and restaurant in town. I'll be declaring the best chef in Bella Riva by this time tomorrow. Speaking of which... He unclipped the watch from his wrist and very carefully handed it to me. I'll have a tight schedule to follow, but my watch stopped working a while ago. Could you see if you can make it tick again? Let me see real quick. Um, 35, okay. Uh, can you, uh, you can just unclip it? Okay, sure. Oh, it's... Ah, the main plate has completely cracked. I'll need to replace it. The cogs look good, though. If I'm careful, I can reuse those. No. Uh, I don't think that's correct. I feel like there's a part mi yeah, there's a part missing. Uh, yeah, that ain't right, is it? No. This part is... Um, why? This part just doesn't fit anywhere. Unless it's supposed to go... Ah, uh, I said, ah, uh, what, or not, the fuck is this part for? Just, unless this goes here, okay. And then, oh, uh, and then this goes here. There we go. Okay. Love always. Oh, wait, this is cracked, too. Uh, so... Fine. Seems like it's... No, 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 no. Seems like it's working. Uh, is there something I'm supposed to do 
here. There we go. Uh, I just noticed that that was there. Fuck. Okay, um... Oh, no. Hold on. Uh, I see. So... I need to remove this. Are you sure it will all fit back together? Uh, positive. Otherwise, the game wouldn't let me. Uh, or... Maybe it won't. Maybe it... Uh... I've not gone a day without this watch since my wife gave it to me. Yeah, stop trauma dumping, you fucker. Um... No. It's not. Wait a minute. Oh. And tell me, fuck. Fuck, no shit, it wasn't working. back to Joseph. My fingers traced over the engraving on the back. I hoped fixing this was one small way I could help him move forward. I can't believe it's working, Maria. Thank you. My wife was a brilliant woman. Feeling this ticking on my wrist, it makes me feel like she's still here. Watches measure minutes and hours like they're infinite. I didn't know we had so little time. <laughs> Even with Isabel, I barely see her. And when I do, she acts like she hates me. Just then, the phone rang. Even when he was at home, his work was never done. Uh, sorry, Maria. I have to take this. I'll see you at the festival tomorrow. As I left, I turned and saw him pacing the floor of his office, his watch glinting in the afternoon sun. I hoped its quiet ticking would at least bring him some peace during the busy days to come. Uh, alright. Still have time. When my last job of the day brought me to Carmen's apartment, the door was opened by someone I didn't expect to see. Helena. Sorry for inflicting this mess on you. Carmen's never seen a knickknack she doesn't want to buy, apparently. 
Carmen's apartment was a little chaotic, but totally charming. It was easy to imagine her living in a place like this. It definitely wasn't Helena's style. She seemed more upmarket than flea market. I wondered why she was even here. We're having a clear out, or at least I am. Carmen's not helping, as usual. There's a market at the festival tomorrow. I'm selling some of these things to make her some money. She says she has nothing when there's all this stuff right under her nose. Helena stepped delicately past the items on the floor and reached down to pick up one from the pile. Look at this slide projector. Our parents treasured it, but Carmen treats it like a piece of junk. Can you take a look? to redirect the light to the lens at the top for the projector to work. Oh, fucking wonderful. Um... That light bulb is completely smashed. Oh, I see, I see, I see. Okay, 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 okay. That's good, right? Uh, is... Wait... Was it... Oh! Oh no, never mind. No, that was, uh, that was wrong. That was so wrong. Um... This is supposed to go in... In here, right? Because that's where... That's where the thing comes out of, right? Or not? Is it? I can't... Oh no, wait, no it isn't. Or... I don't know. I don't know how projectors work, what the fuck? Uh, so... Oh! Never mind, this is where... Uh, no. Hold on. Uh... Oh, so that's what that is. Also, where does... Hold on, let me try and figure out. There's just a casing, right? Yeah. Oh, no it isn't. Um... This goes here, but I don't think I can do much with that yet. How are you doing? Hi Zetra, how you doing? Finally finished Little Grey Two Shoes. Now we're playing whatever this is. Um, I don't think this is correct. Oh wait, wait, wait! It is correct, right? Because the um, Cause that's where it goes? Question mark. Uh, I think 
There's also a mirror in here, probably. Yeah, 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 yeah. look at that. Wait, how am I gonna fix that, though? That's how. <laughs> I didn't even see those screws. Oh, typical. Commons even managed to get a slide stuck in here. A what? Oh, is that their parents? There we go. I was so excited when I moved to the city. Carmen, she looks so sad. I'm fine. That's good to hear. Here's the clicker you'll need to attach. <laughs> God knows how Carmen broke that as well. There's still a part I need to attach. Where does it go? That's a good question. I don't know how fucking projectors work. Um, oh, there it goes. And then this goes down here. There we go. Uh, wait, do I... No, not that. No, not that. I don't... Can I... So, do I remove... No, put it back. How do I remove the slide? Uh... Okay, hold on. I mean, I might as well just leave that in there at this point. I don't care enough. Oh! That's... Look, I never had a projector, okay? Leave me alone. When we were younger, Carmen was always following me around. No. Um... I suppose she looked up to me. A cool older sister. She used to ask me when I was coming home, but I was always too busy. I think I've missed a screw somehow. You no fucking shit, Sherlock. Fixed, staring at the two young sisters the projector had brought glaringly into focus. I... Oh, I never meant to let her down. But you haven't, have you? You came all this way just to help with the cafe. Plus the money. <sighs> That's the problem. There is no money. 
I lost my job a few months ago. My savings are almost gone. I have nothing. Carmen thinks I'll throw my checkbook at her bad decisions and make them okay. But I can't. Not this time. You know, the funny thing is, I came here wanting to tell her the truth. But she's so infuriating. How can I ask her for help when all she cares about is herself? Helena fell silent, shrinking under the gaze of her younger self, projected onto the wall. We drifted so far apart when I moved away. It felt like the only thing keeping us together was my bank balance. I know I have to tell her the truth. It isn't fair. But I already lost everything else. <sighs> what if I lose her too? Sounds like an average family life. Alright, let me... Alright, almost done. Um, 10.55, okay. The day of the festival finally came, and after all my hard work, I was ready to put down my tools and pick up a fork. The smell as I entered the main square was incredible. Each stall was selling food even more delicious than the last. The competition would start any minute. Most stall holders were waiting anxiously for the mayor to pay them a visit. All of them, that was, except Carmen, who was still frantically chopping vegetables and stirring pots. Maria! Thank God you're here! Can I ask you the world's biggest favor? Helena was supposed to help me run the stall today, but she never turned up. Probably too ashamed to show her face. I can't believe she lied to me! Carmen was stirring so furiously, she was in danger of tipping the pot over altogether. The mayor will be here any minute for the judging, but I'm almost out of my special. She wasn't really going to ask me, was she? Not on my day off. I have a stove ready to build and everything. Can you set it up and make me a spare batch? Um, okay, how the fuck is... Okay, so we got broth. Um, so what exactly? That's what we do. Oh, wait, wait, actually. Wild veggie soup. So ingredients, a pint of stock. Oh, her recipe is a bit smudged. Never mind, I'm sure whatever I put in will be fine. A fourth stick of half a carrot. Is that two or three broccoli florets? Handful of chopped tomatoes, wild mushrooms, plenty of 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 whatever the fuck that is. is this what are half of these oh wait this is a mushroom isn't it or is it no 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 way this this thing is shinier than my butthole um is this? Hold on. Oh, okay. Uh, so I I don't know. What, I I still can't tell what any of this is. So not here, not this. It all fits. Now to light the gas. 
Gas, 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 I'm gonna step on the gas. Come on. There we go. What? Uh. I don't think the flame is in the right spot. Come on. Come on. Why? Can I just throw it in? No, I can't. That's unfortunate. Come on. Fucking... Burn, you cunt. Come on, light on fire. Like I can't. Burn you cunt. Okay, maybe I'm supposed to not have the thing on top. Okay. About fucking time. I think that pot is really boiling now. Smells great if I say so myself. Here are the ingredients that Carmen's given me. What to add first? All right. A pint of stock, whatever that means. Uh, a fourth stick of carrot. This is a fourth floor, right? Um... I guess this is a pint of stock. Uh... Oh, wait, wait. A fourth, a stick of whatever this is. A bunch of, I guess the stock is the broth. A fourth stick of... This is a fourth, right? And then, half a carrot. This is half. Then two broccoli florets. I should do a handful of chopped tomatoes. I just put all of them in. That'll work that fine. Looks good. I'll scoop a spoonful when I'm ready to serve. That looks like human blood. Um. All right, I, I, sure. My part done, Carmen took over and added the finishing touches. It was just in time, and a moment later, Joseph arrived with Izzy in tow. Carmen anxiously handed them both a serving. That was so tasty. Can I have some more, please? Well. You've certainly earned yourself a loyal customer in my daughter. We have a few more meals to taste, but so far you are one of the best. Good luck. I had a feeling this would happen. So happy together. Maybe the festival was doing them some good after all. Carmen, on the other hand, seemed annoyed. But why, when it had all gone so well? I wish Helena was here to see this. She's so convinced I'll never succeed at anything. She wants what's best for you. She's just not very tactful about it. 
Yes, I, I, I know. I know. Even when I was a kid, she pushed me when no one else did. I just wish she hadn't lied to me. But then, I've asked so much of her over the years. I never stopped to think how much she actually had to give. Everything. Alright, 11 hours. Don't know if I can finish the game on time. If, if I can, it'll be close. The festival finished. I only had one day left before I had to catch my train and leave Bella Riva behind. I couldn't go without saying goodbye to Carmen. So, that evening, I made my way to the cafe. It was unrecognizable. She'd done it. Best food in Bella Riva. Half the town was outside waiting to see what the fuss was about. Maria! Maria! My favorite sous chef! Come on through! It was Carmen, acting every inch the successful cafe owner she deserved to be. Even Helena was there, serving the coffees. This was the last place I expected to see her after yesterday's drama. Carmen led me through to a balcony upstairs, where she brought out an old record player. I found out where Helena was on the day of the festival. She was selling her camera to clear the cafe's debts. But then she didn't have much left for herself. So, I've asked her to come and stay with me for a while. We have a lot of catching up to do. I wanted to give her this to cheer her up. We listened to it all the time when we were kids. Do you think it has one last tune in it? Let's find out. Okay, let's see what happens when we turn this on. The speaker isn't connected properly. I should check the wiring. The speaker isn't connected properly. Shut up. I should check the wiring. Uh, and... How the fuck am I gonna... Apparently it just pops off, okay. Here's the problem. This wiring isn't connected properly. There we go. Then... There's this... Uh, what is that? Okay. If I turn the volume up, I should be able to hear it now. Uh, wait, there is one more thing. Or is there? Yes, there is. No! There we go. I think that should do it. This record should play beautifully. No. Okay, but... in the right direction it must be to do with the motor let's see if one of these spares can turn things around okay where is the motor uh, oh, there it is. Do I need to unscrew it? No. Oh, it's stuck to this. That's why. The green. Because green is obviously the best color, so... doesn't seem to work. Maybe I'll have better luck with a different one. Alright, never mind. Um green is still the best color though, so you know. 
It just so happens this murder was just was just having a bad day, you know? No, okay. Please let me Oh there was the number written on there, okay. Or the model written on there. I forgot to put the the thing back, didn't I? Yep. Not that. Alright. That should do it. Hopefully. The speaker isn't connected properly. I should check the wiring. Uh, the speaker isn't connected properly. I should check the wiring. Shut the fuck up. I forgot to put the wire back. Alright. Yeah. Well, it's playing in the right direction. I should check it's turning at the correct speed. Playing in the right direction. Seems they're connected properly. Uh, which part are the speakers? There's still a part I need to attach. Where does it go? There is. Something is still missing. It is. What will remain of these days? The sweetest words I've ever The record player's crackling what tune must have caught Helena's ear as she appeared a few moments later. Is that my old record player? I can't believe you've kept it all these years, Carmen. Leaning over the music, they looked just like the young sisters the slide projector had preserved all these years. Inseparable, once again. Carmen told me about your camera. That was a really generous thing to do. I loved that camera, but I love my sister more. Now it's her time to be the person she wants to be. I don't know, that camera is probably more important. I'm going to stay here with her for a while. Make up for lost time. Carmen and Helena's relationship wasn't suddenly going to be perfect, but they were both prepared to try. And to think, it had all started because of a call Carmen made about some seasoning tips. I guess in the end, maybe it wasn't so hard to just pick up the phone and dial. I hadn't spoken to my own parents in a year. I wanted to hear their voices more than anything. Can't relate. But the silence between us was so cavernous. I didn't know how I'd ever find the words to bridge it. Alright, chapter 12. My 
my final morning in Bella Riva, I received one last call out to Joseph and Izzy's house. I knew I had to pack, but I figured I could squeeze in one final job before I had to leave. When I arrived, I found Joseph tidying up his wilderness of a garden. The playhouse was already cleared. Inside, I could see Izzy happily testing out her screw driving skills on the back of her cassette deck. You've made quite the impression. Isabel, <laughs> Izzy, tells me she's going to be a repair woman like Maria. <laughs> I'm sure she could be anything she wanted if she put her mind to it. She could. She's a brilliant child. Spending the day with her at the festival, I haven't had so much fun in ages. I wanted to give her something before she starts to forget. Inside, the house was transformed, flooded with light and the sounds of the garden. It felt alive again. This would be my last repair in Bellariva, but it felt like it was the house that had really been restored. It's a music box. It used to play beautifully, but now when I wind it up, nothing happens. I'd love for Izzy to hear it sing again. Can you help? Let me just really quick check. Uh, yep. I got that. This shouldn't take too long, hopefully. I jinxed it, didn't I? Alright. Um... Oh, wait. What the hell's in here? Is that a, oh, it's the thing that comes out of the thingy. Alright. Maria, could you add this family picture of us? Yeah. Um, if the game lets me. <laughs> oh, I need to glue it first. Makes sense. mechanism is completely broken. I'll it need to is? take it all apart before I can fix it. It is? Okay. Uh, I mean, I guess this part is bent, but...
I don't know. Fucking. How do I? Wasn't this supposed to go somewhere? I don't know. Um. Why doesn't this go anywhere? Ah, that's where. Okay. Uh, and where does the wind up go? Oh, that's where. Wait, does that not work? Done it. Don't tell me I missed something. Something is still missing. What is? Did I put in a wrong gear or something? Oh yeah, look, the gears are moving. Did I put the gears in the wrong place? I think I did. No, that's not gonna do anything. Is this the order? No. Uh... I... There we go. Perfect. The mechanism is good as new. Don't. That's everything back together again. I should play it to make sure. My wife used to sing this song to Izzy each night before bed, but I always work too late to join them. Will you dream a dream for me? Or I sit by your side, find hold you so tight. Know that I've missed so much already. I want to be the father my wife wanted me to be. I've ended up so much like my own father. Working all the time. Izzy needs me more than that. Especially now it's just the two of us. My daughter comes first. Well, not until she gets bored of her stuffy old dad anyway. On that 
never ever get bored of you, Dad. Izzy came running into the room where Joseph scooped her up and onto his shoulders. She gazed at the music box, her eyes shining. I'd never seen her look so happy. Thank you, Maria, for everything. The things you fixed for me, I'm so glad to have them back. Joseph was a good father, and I could tell he was determined to be an even better one. When it came down to it, that was all any of us wanted. A second chance to make something right. My time in Bellariva was almost over, but before I left, I knew there was something of my own I needed to fix. Okay. Oh. Suitcase. Uh, how long? Okay. Wow, that took exactly 10 minutes. My time in Bellariva was almost at an end. Another chapter finished in a story whose ending I hadn't felt ready to write. The people I'd met, the items I'd restored, they'd taught me so much about what was really important. Pulling out my suitcase from beneath the bed, I remembered the day I stole it from my parents' shop, the day I left. Afterwards, I was too ashamed to call them, to apologize. It was a guilt I'd been carrying around every day since. As I packed, I knew that it was up to me to find a way to lighten the load. Joseph's idea of light reading for the train. It does look thorough. My train ticket. Can't believe it's time to leave Bellariva behind. My parents would love Bellariva. Maybe I can convince them to make the trip. Izzy gave me this in exchange for my repair manual. She'll be a pro in no time. My suitcase was full, but it was my heart that felt heavy as I made my way to the station. I was sorry to be leaving Bellariva behind, but I hoped that in my own small way I'd made a difference. Elena and Carmen's reunion was possible because they'd learned to overcome their differences. Joseph had realized he shouldn't let his grief or his work get in the way of his relationship with Izzy. They'd each learned to see things from someone else's perspective. Maybe it was time I saw things through my parents' eyes. I knew it would be easier to jump on the next train, put even more distance between us, but I finally felt ready to talk to them. I just didn't know if they would feel the same. Even remember their number? I wasn't sure until I reached for the phone and it all came flooding back. Mom? Dad? Maria? Is that you? Alright, done. Uh, so what the hell is this? Epilogue. Carmen's letter. Let's see. Dear Maria, Carmen here. Sorry I haven't written. The cafe's been absolutely manic since you left. Luckily, I have Helena here to help. You wouldn't recognize her. She's like a new woman. She's always running around, taking orders and making drinks. I even heard her compliment a customer on their outfit. 
Personally, I draw the line at fluorescent green bowling shirts, but each to their own. It certainly made the customer smile. She misses the city, though. Bellariva's many things, but it's definitely not as chic as she'd like. She said there was a coffee shop near her old apartment where they made coffee with a shape drawn on top. It got me thinking, I'm an award-winning chef. I can figure out how to put a leaf on a cappuccino. A bit of cosmopolitan coffee might be just what Helena needs. Of course, ordering a new coffee machine was the easy part. I wish you could have seen the mess I got into trying to put the thing together. Um, oh boy. I saw Maria use her screwdriver a million times. Taking this apart will be easy. Uh, what the fuck goes over here? Um, this. That's what. Uh, oh boy, okay. Oh great, which, which one goes where? Um, I'll figure it out later. These pipes look pretty simple. I should start with them. Alright. I'll need to connect all the pipes correctly to stop the steam pouring out. Uh, I see. Um... You fucking... Oh my god. Get the fuck over here. That steam doesn't look good. There must be something wrong with the pipes. I think that's correct. Um, this game is so awkward. Hold on. No, I don't think that's. There you go. Come on. Fucking you. I don't think that's correct, but okay. Oh my god, can you fucking... Like, I hate that you can't even, like, zoom into the thing. You just have to guess where the hitbox is. Like, it's not... Can that not go in there? Is that what it is? What can... Can red only connect to red and yellow only to yellow? I think that's exactly what it is. Um... Oh, wait, I see the fucking problem. Yeah, no shit. These are switched around. Um... Are you fucking kidding me? 
put this in here, you moron. Finally, no more steam. Uh, well, I'm not done yet because there's still those wires. Um. I assume that's right. Where the fuck did these go? <laughs> now that's the question. Do these... No? Alright. Um... I'm just gonna like guess it. Oh, I see. Oh, it sucks. Okay. Um. I don't think this was correct. There we go. Okay. And then... I don't think I need this anymore. I think this was correct. It doesn't seem to work unless the circuit lights are all green. They were all green. I'm not saying. Please tell me that she actually says it. Uh, I don't know. Uh, how long have I been going? 39. Hopefully I can finish this on time. Um, you have a couple of minutes left. Oh, wait, there's some screws here that I haven't... So it depends on 
That was incorrect. Uh, yeah, those were all wrong. Um, one, maybe they're supposed to match. Hold up, you. I want to. Uh, can you stop? I want to fucking turn it! There we go. There we go. Where does this go? I missed something. Yeah, that. It looks like I've forgotten a screw. That's everything? Better test the buttons, just to make sure. Uh... You, uh... What the fuck? There we go. All done! Piece of cake. Time to make my first coffee, I think. Oh my god. Hey May, how you doing? It's 4.03 a.m. for me? Go to sleep. Uh, which one is that? There we go. Good morning, or uh, a good morning, I guess. Smells delicious. Now to make it look magical. Okay, so latte art. A saucer and a couple of Helena's favorite biscuits. I thought it was almost five in the morning on my family uh, stove top. Oh. Sorry to hear that. I was feeling more has been than coffee queen by the time I'd made a drink fit for human consumption. It looked a bit uh mm, postmodern, but knowing Helena's refi God damn. Oh my god. Oh my god, that is painful. Wow. Tastes. I hope she should think it was intentional. Uh, how's the stream? Is the stream back? Because I have, I have no idea. <laughs> uh. That one was, like, painful. Always the connoisseur. She didn't even bother to look at it at first. She was so busy wafting it under her nose. Steamed up her glasses, of course. 
How was she going to see my work of art through an eye full of fog? Uh, oh my god. When she finally spotted it, though, she was totally impressed. I'll admit, she spent several minutes trying to figure out exactly what it was I'd drawn. She decided it was probably a horse. <laughs> well, what she doesn't know won't hurt her. She was impressed enough to ask for another one. I guess I'll need to get some practice in. The whole thing was such hard work, Maria. I never realized how difficult it was, all that mechanical stuff. It made me realize how much I have to thank you for, so I wanted to say that now. Better latte than never. <laughs> <sighs> Hoping you're well. Your friend, Carl. All right, that's that. Go. Cool.